Osama bin Laden wants the French out of Afghanistan. The Al-Qaeda leader's voice is purportedly on a new audio message making this demand. And if it's not met, the voice says, two kidnapped French journalists will be killed. Brian Todd is joining us from Washington with more details. So, uh, Brian, tell us about the authenticity and whether this is really Osama bin Laden. Well, Lisa, U.S. officials have told us there's no reason to doubt that this is bin Laden because uh, previous messages uh, from him of a similar nature have been very authentic. This is a horrible message to hear for the families of those hostages. U.S. officials say it's not clear how much influence bin Laden has with the two people, with the people, excuse me, holding those two French journalists. But the message has been broadcast throughout the Muslim world, and bin Laden's followers are no doubt listening. A U.S. counterterrorism official says his words send a chill up your spine, especially considering there are two lives at stake. In an audio message broadcast in part on Al Jazeera, a speaker claiming to be Osama bin Laden warns the French government two French journalists being held hostage are in peril because of your actions. The refusal of your President Sarkozy to get out of Afghanistan is the result of his subservience to the United States, and this is considered to be the green light to kill your prisoners without delay. U.S. counterterror officials tell CNN, while there's no reason to believe that isn't bin Laden speaking, it's not clear how much influence he has over the fate of the two journalists who were seized by the Taliban in 2009. Bin Laden's most recent message before this came last October, and like this one, contained a threat against France. I asked terrorism expert Brian Fishman why Bin Laden singles out France. What I think Bin Laden sees is that France may be the weak link in Afghanistan. 80% of the French population opposes the war in Afghanistan, and he thinks that he can apply some pressure on the French population and perhaps get them to pull out. But it may not work with the French. I don't think it'll work with the French at all, actually. I think that the French population, despite the fact that they are opposed to the war in Afghanistan, the French government is, rel is committed to the fight. U.S. officials believe bin Laden is still hiding out somewhere along the border between Afghanistan and Pakistan. They say there's no indication he's directing al-Qaeda operations, despite his threats. This position will cost you dearly on all fronts, in France and abroad. Fishman says there's still no one on bin Laden's level who can command global attention to jihad like he can, but that he's not as effective on that front as he once was. I think this is one of bin Laden's biggest problems, is that he's lost a lot of audience share, frankly. He's lost, it says Fishman, to young jihadists like Anwar al-Awlaki, the American-born cleric believed to be hiding in Yemen. He is a key figure in the al-Qaeda branch where some of the most serious recent plots have come from, al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. Fishman says al-Awlaki speaks more effectively than bin Laden in English to potential supporters in the U.S. and Europe. Relitza? So what are counterterrorism experts saying about why he chose this particular timing, this particular issue? Is it uh, just that he wants to remind the U.S., wants to remind the West that he uh, is still there? A lot of terrorism experts will tell you that very same refrain, really. So that this is an effort to, uh, for bin Laden to essentially show that he is still there, he's still relevant, he is still in the game. Uh, why he is picking France, the last two messages where he is transmitted, um, you know, that's a little bit unclear. He, uh, one expert told us that he thinks that the French are more likely than the other U.S. allies in Afghanistan to cave and to pull out of Afghanistan. But these experts say that's not true. The French are probably less likely than some others to actually do that. that they fought very gallantly, actually, in Afghanistan recently, especially some of their special forces who have uh, captured areas uh, west of Kabul. So the French, uh, according to these experts, are not likely to pull out of Afghanistan anytime soon. Yeah, and indeed they have come out with uh, a response to this saying that they're not going to do That's it. That's absolutely right.